this is a nice demonstration of a basic seated routine here. And, uh, I first start by coming and placing my knees right up against the back of the person. So I'm actually turning my toes in a little bit so my knees come a little closer together so I can place them on either side of their back out for support. And I'm just going to have them come back to, towards me so they're not exerting any pressure sitting up. Have them sit up, they're just leaning back. And I'm going to just start by making some nice contact here. So just leaning in. Leaning in on the exhale. And I'm working medial to lateral and back again. Along with this straight down pressure, I'm also leaning back a little bit, trying to unroll uh, the forward motion of a tightened upper chest muscle. Helps create a little bit more space. And when you come out laterally and just depress on the acromion shelf, you really get a nice stretch of the attachment of the supraspinatus. The supraspinatus goes underneath the acromion and helps stabilize the head of the humerus and the shoulder, so that's a nice stretch. Okay, and then I'm going to come down on one knee, and the knee is supporting the sacrum. So again, I'm providing a nice cushion for her to lean against so that her body weight is stable. And I'm going to start with general compression with my forearms and I'm going to be sinking in with my hands together. So sink in and then just roll out. So sinking in and rolling out. We had talked about uh, acupressure pressure points and how we can integrate it into the work. And here on the top of the trapezius, about halfway between the base of the neck and the acromion shelf, is a very classic uh, acupressure point uh, for releasing tension in the shoulder and neck, and that's gallbladder 21. Right here on the top, it's usually represented uh, in a tight lump. Uh, this point is contraindicated uh, if the person is with child, so don't press during natural gestation. But it can be used to help deliver the child into the world if they're uh, working with acupressure points. So, gallbladder 21, I'm going to put my elbows right in there and just lean in with my body. So you can bring a little bit more specificity. But you need to loosen the area before um, you apply the elbows. And in this position, I'm going to be working on the left shoulder because I'm up on my left foot. And I'm going to take my arm onto the left side of the head and grab a hold of her left wrist, and the first thing I notice is that we have some similarity in our bracelets, which is nice. I found mine on the street. <laughs> so I'm going to place the tip of my elbow uh, in the upper fibers of here, trapezius, and I'm going to support their elbow with my hand and rest my arm on my leg. So it's a very supported, a levered move. So I'm going to apply a good pressure into the top of the shoulder by simply lifting the base of the triangle here that we've made. Let me know how the pressure is. Too much? It's good. But look easy, yes? And if you have more ease in your work, you're more available to listen to what's going on. You're more available to move your position to what's appropriate in the person you're working on. Uh, you're more available to breathe and have some more conscious uh, interaction with the person. And to affect this contact here, you can move the arm out a little bit more and then down. It works the muscle a little different. And then the next move is coming in like this. I can just sink in. laterally flex the head away. Can you say that a little louder for the video? Yeah, it feels so good. <laughs> now the transition move is then this. Coming and bringing it around 
and now the arm isn't behind the back and their hand is across the spine and their palm is presented this way. So I can take my knee and put it right in the palm and support it right up against the body. So now I'm right in line here with the uh, shoulder girdle and I'm going to take the outside hand and cuff the head of the humerus and with my inside hand I'm going to use the pad of my thumb to come right up against the vertebral border of the scapula. So I'm going to just place here and then just mobilize that. Thicker muscle, but perhaps um, scapula that's a little bit more glued down to the ribcage. Well, no, alternative to doing this. The same intention working along the border uh, of the scapula to address the outer bladder meridian and also the attachments of rhomboids. So we'll take it here. And now I'm going to sit in Seiza, supporting, and I'm going to move the arm a little bit forward so it pronounces the vertebral border of the scapula. And I'm going to put my elbow in there and just lever in. And then work your way down towards the inferior angle. Is that okay? Right. And then I just switch. And it's important to move the hair from one side. Mm -hmm. Then I believe I showed just a couple of rotations. Did I miss anything in that sequence? I don't believe so. And now I'm going to do a couple of simple rotations. So, like I said, there's depending on how we match up with the person, uh, either the physicality or the energetic component, there's different ways of eliciting a rotation in and around the center. Uh, one simple way is bring the arm across, uh, not too low and not too high, just across the upper chest. Now open my stance and place the opposite hand by the scapula and I'm just going to rotate the body. So come over here and see this position of the body. So you open and I'm coming in like this and I can support here and just twist into it. One way. Now, because we're um, moving the upper uh, axis, we're getting a lot of rotation here. Uh, we want to bring that rotation a little uh, more precise down into the base of the spine. So, one way of doing it is coming and placing one knee right up against the sacrum. And I'm going to kind of put our arm like this. So, slip under here like this. And then the other knee comes up onto the hip so it stabilizes. And I have my hand positioned here. So I'm simply going to rotate this way. Nice.
stabilize here. Arm across, arm to the shoulder, supporting. Come up, inhale, please. Exhale. Really stabilize. Nice rotation. This last one is behind. So come back here, please. That was a hard hair flip to try to get to go front. So I'm going to start by placing my feet on either side. Back, and my toes are slightly below the scapula at first. So inhale, exhale. Now, you can do a stacked foot like this to get the mid, and then come it up right between the scapulas. And you can end 